We're here today on partner farmer Eamon Kent's farm in Waterford. We've two reseeding operations. There's one currently on the way in a field beyond us and there's one just completed here. This field is a field that Eamon's leased recently and it hasn't been reseeded for a long time. Currently the P and K indexes are a little low, they're probably in the high twos. I got three bags of 10, 10, 20 of sowing and a tonne and a half of lime to get the pH to optimum figures. For the receding event here, we went with a very conventional system, which was plough, till and sow. The field was ploughed, they got three runs of a power arrow to create a, a nice fine seed bed, and it was sown at 15 kilos to the acre with a moor drill. The plan for this field for the coming year is pretty much to graze it with calves. Probably towards the back end of the year, the cows will come in here, but we'll try not to cut it in the first year because we wanted to till her and till her as much as possible. So the real success of this field will be seen from 2020 on. Through our partnership with GrassTech, we'll be measuring how much grass this field produces, we'll be measuring the residuals left behind by animals, so we want to know what the graze out is, and we'll be benchmarking that against everything else that's on this farm, plus our other three partner farmers around the country. We've already sown out Aspect, Xenon and Kerry on Eamon's farm, and we're seeing really positive results, particularly from Aspect and Xenon. And it'd be really interesting now to see how Nishota sits beside those varieties, given that they're performing very well in the Chagas grazing trials, and that's reflective of what we're seeing across our partner farms as well. Keep an eye out on social media for our next receding video.